you Taurus welcome to my channel my name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another monthly update we are going to dive on in and take a look at the messages of what's coming through for the month of May of 2021 uh, but before we dive on in uh, Taurus I just want to say a big happy birthday to you happy birthday you guys we are in Taurus season and for those of you who are new to my channel and you may not be aware I have my moon in Taurus and I'm very thankful for my moon in Taurus I actually love that I have a moon in Taurus uh, that I have Taurus in my moon sign so um that's something that I can share with you. But enough of me, you guys. Let's dive on in. Oh, actually, before we do, I just want to make mention, if you do enjoy this read, let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing here today. Um, and if you would like a personal reading, by all means, guys, feel free to reach out. All the details on how to connect with me and work with me will be in the show more section just below this video. Keep in mind, Taurus, though, this is for entertainment purposes only. So for that very reason alone, the messages may or may not resonate for you. And that is totally OK. All righty. So the five cards that are coming through for you for the month of May is the Three of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Tower, the Justice and the Death card. Uh, the people that you could be dealing with um, in May with the Justice, you've got strong Libran energy and you've also got the Death card here, which represents the sign of Scorpio. OK, so grab your beverage of choice, you guys. I've got my water and my coffee. Uh, here to go. I've got my McDonald's coffee, so I know it's very classy, but it's a coffee. So, <laughs> alrighty, let's start with the Three of Cups, Taurus. This is all about friendships. I'm seeing communication here, okay? Uh, in particular, three good friends, yourself and two others, okay? I am seeing, because this Three of Cups is touching the Eight of Pentacles, I am seeing that maybe some of your friendships are going to take a little extra work. You may even find some friendships in my hard work right um yeah i'm just seeing some friends may be a little difficult a little hard work in the month of may but let's go back to the three of cups i'm seeing friendship i'm seeing support i'm seeing some kind of a reunion there may be some reunion happening in may for you i do see this as a highly sociable time okay it is your birthday month so i do see you possibly getting out and about with some really good friends and some really uh, close family members here and maybe sharing a drink or two with the people that mean the most to you there is supportive energy coming through for you in may these people love you these people care about you these people support you taurus okay so you've got some really good friends around you that you can really lean on i do see you having good times and i also see here possible reunions maybe from some friendships from the past i'm not sure if there's a mercury retrograding but i know hang on you guys i know we do have a pluto pluto is retrograding in capricorn so i mean um there's there's the death card right there's the death card i i, I get a sense that there could be some old friends from the past maybe you had a falling out with them in the past they could be returning here or maybe you're remembering something that happened in the past with this person uh, it could also mean a letting go of some friendships you guys i mean may may see you realizing you know i've got some friends here who are a little bit hard work i've got some family members here that are a little bit hard work and it could see you naturally just letting these friendships or these family members go Okay, um, now these are natural endings. I feel like you may just go with it. Okay, so it's just saying just go with it. You know, you can outgrow friendships as well because you've got the Eight of Pentacles here. You're growing, Taurus. You're doing the work. I see that here. Um, you're working really hard on something here with the Eight of Pentacles. You're investing your time and energy into something here. All your focus is dedicated to this one thing, I feel. 
or maybe it's eight different things or multiple things, but I feel like you are working on yourself. Um, I do see possible study up ahead for a small percentage of you. I also see you working diligently. Um, this is like, how can I explain the Eight of Pentacles? It's like consi the consistency card, okay? You're staying consistent with something here or you're working consistently on something here that you're passionate about that is going to bring you the rewards, Okay, so I do see that here. This is about ticking off your to-do list. Um, consistency is key in May. Um, if you're finding that some friendships are inconsistent, again, there's the death card. There's the tower card. There's definitely earth moving around some relationships that you have with some people. Okay, now with the tower card, this is like the rug being pulled out from underneath you. Or maybe you're finally pulling out the rug from underneath some kind of a relationship or partnership here. There's some kind of a tower moment coming in for you in May. And why? Because something isn't the foundation of whatever this situation or this relationship is. It isn't solid. Okay, so it has to come crashing down. Some kind of transformation needs to take place here. And like I said, like you're an earth sign Taurus. So you could be, you know, axing this tree. This is a tree. This is a pine tree. Like you could be getting that axe and you could be chopping that tree down and saying, see you later. Okay. I've had enough. Because see these lightning strikes hitting this tower? This is your aha moment. This is you finally realizing, Taurus, that you need to just come on in and cut that off at the knees. I actually feel like you're the one that's coming in and creating this tower moment. And you know what? Good on you, Taurus. Good on you because you're all about stability. You're all about security. And I know you very well, Taurus. Taurians don't like change. We actually struggle with changes. We like things to remain consistent. We like to feel secure. So if there is something happening around you in May that is making you feel insecure or anxious, I actually feel like you're the one that's coming in with that axe and chopping that pine tree down. Because what? Because we like security. We like structure and stability. We don't like uncertainty and there's definitely some kind of like, um, you know, cracks appearing here in some kind of foundation that you thought you had with someone or you had in something. And, you know, you've worked really hard on yourself. So, yeah, I definitely see you waking up to yourself. Okay, you're waking up to yourself with these uh, lightning strikes. And uh, the good thing about the tower is that it brings about change. And like I said, I feel like you're going to be um, the change agent here. Yeah, you're, you're bringing in that change. Okay, I know that seems like a paradox, right? But you're actually the one that's bringing in that change, Taurus, I have to say. You've also got the justice card here. I mean, for some, for a small portion of you, um, you may be dealing with legalities. But this is about karma. This is about what's, you know, um, making what's wrong right. Ironing out the creases. So 
I feel like you are bringing in this justice, like you're bringing in the tower moment. I actually feel like you're the initiator of this tower. And then after this happens, then you're going to see like, you know, the justice card is like, um, Whatever seeds you sow is what you reap. And so because you have the courage to cut something off at the knees here, because you have the courage to come in with this axe and chop down that tree, guess what the universe is going to reward you with? Justice. Justice. It's a very black and white situation, Taurus. And that's how you're seeing it. It's very black and white. Okay? So this is good karma. This is good karma for you. Okay? And like I said too, if there are some relationships that are hard work that you need to let go of, guess what? The door opens then, the door of opportunity then opens up to you and invites more solid and aligned friendships up to you. So it's totally okay. It's totally okay to say goodbye to those friends or family members that are no longer in alignment with you here. Because there's always some new ones coming in and around the corner. Okay, I do see May as a very transformative month for you, Taurus. Uh, there could be some changes coming in and up around the home or the workplace here with the Tower card. Okay, there's going to be some endings that you're going to feel and experience in May. Um, like I said, there's this is the card of death. Friendships ending, work situations ending. There may even be, um, for those of you th that this only resonates with, okay, do not be afraid of the death card. But for those of you who have a relative that is very, very ill uh, or sick that you know of, you may see the passing of this relative. Okay, now that's for a small percentage of you. And you're going to know if that if this message is for you. For others of you, this is the card of Scorpio. And Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. And Pluto rules the underworld. Okay, it's the, it's the planet of destruction. And I see that here with the Tower and the Death card. Okay, there's destructive energies coming in and it may feel disruptive, but it's very necessary. Okay, because something is not within its integrity here. Especially if there's people around you that may be gossiping about you behind your back. Okay, with the death card, this could be exposed. You may need to do a little investig investigation, okay? So Scorpio is the sign of investigation, okay? So do your research, investigate, excavate, dig around. You know, this is the X-Files card. <laughs> uh, there could also be an X from the past coming back in. I mean, this is literally someone from the dead coming back in. Or you could be connecting with someone who's crossed over. Okay? You may have a strong connection to someone who has crossed over to the other side as well, Taurus, here. There may also be some skeletons coming out of the closet for a small percentage of you. But again, the death card... Where there is a natural ending, there is also a new beginning. So towards the end of May, um, you will be moving into a period or a transition of rebirth. So um, 
it may feel uncomfortable at times with the death card, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. So there we have it, Taurus. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this read. And until next time, take care.